Not everyone has their trim and woodwork painted white. Here are nine wall paint colors that go well with honey oak trim, because we couldn't think of 10. Thank you to Mighty Boards for helping us out on this video and more on them later on. We're dividing up this list into three distinct sections. We'll start with some warm coordinating colors, some cooler contemporary colors, and then we'll finish off with the mega versatile neutral color category. That includes my top three recommendations for most of you. So stay tuned for that. Wall color number one is the first of your three coordinating colors. And by this, I mean clearly warmer tones that further accentuate the warmth in honey oak trim. This color is caramelized SW9186. This is the color that will further double down on that warm golden coloration with its use of a dolce de leche brown that has just a touch of orange as well. The color in and of itself has a fairly low LRV of 35, so it's perhaps a bolder pick in theory because of its depth, but considering how much colorant it has in it, it still retains some softness because it's toned down just enough to keep it in check. There are much more dynamic golden orange themed colors out there that will create much more of a statement. Colors like Cavern Clay, which is our next color to talk about. This one is extremely rich and possesses quite a bit more red than the last color. Its LRV is 20, which puts it in the dark color category, but it does feel warm overall, even though it does have some brown and taupe, muddying the overall saturation a little bit. I would put this in the terracotta category of colors that blends a clay red with some brown and a touch of orange to spice it up a little bit. The red will cause it to stand out off of your honey oak trim more than a gold theme color, but they're in the same wheelhouse because of their undeniable heat level in regards to their color temperature. The most vibrant of these warm, bold colors would be the color Knockout Orange, which is beautifully deep, rich, and exciting. It's sort of in between the other colors with an LRV of 28, and it just has such a fun character to it, creating the dominant hue of orange and tinting it ever so slightly with some peachy pinkiness to give it a coral touch. This is a total statement color that you wouldn't likely use in high traffic areas that is adjacent to many parts of your home, but for a feature room, like a dining room, or even a sectioned off living room, this type of color will really have a nice interaction with your oak trim. But I get it. Not everyone is gonna to gravitate towards gold or terracotta walls. As fun as it is to implement warm colors with your warmer trim, it's equally as nice to go the complementary route and instead opt for some more cooler leaning colors to contrast it. Let's start with an old favorite by Sherwin-Williams, Rainwashed. I tend to gravitate towards green based colors when I want something to complement oak trim, mainly because it sort of plays on that teal and orange pairing that you see a lot in design in general. Rainwashed is a nice combination of light gray green and a dash of blue, which offers a pretty usable color that suits coastal color palettes, as well as the farmhouse aesthetic, which does tend to use a lot of natural woods as well. Because the trim is going to look so warm in comparison to rainwashed, it'll further bring out the green in your walls. But in and of itself, it won't seem so drastically colorful as a wall color. It's still fairly muted overall. So if you just want a little bit of that contrasty look, but still have your walls feeling fairly light, check out Rainwashed. Another step towards green in a more yellow dominant tone is Clary Sage. What I like about Clary Sage is it gets rid of the blue undertone that you find in some greens, which allows it to feel more straightforward in its quest to feel like a true sage green. It strikes a nice balance between green and gray with a touch of yellow, and it comes across as a deep color that doesn't feel too overbearing. Because of its lower LRV of 41, this is a color that can feel quite dark in areas, especially in places that have very little natural light. But in regards to its interaction with oak trim, I think it looks great. For any of these colors, it's always a good idea to test them before you paint everything. And going with a product like Mighty Boards, you're able to put any paint color on these giant testing cards, which you can then move around your entire home and see your desired color in all sorts of lighting conditions. One of the many benefits of Mighty Boards is the fact that it actually lays flat against the surface you're painting. And it doesn't matter whether you're using Sherwin-Williams paint, Benjamin Moore, or otherwise, any color that you were thinking of using, you can easily test it out before you put it on your walls. I'll leave a link to Mighty Boards down below if you want some more information on them. The last complimentary color I want to mention is a darker gray blue that is the darkest color on today's list. 
Slate tile, it's a little more of a blue than a gray, but it's really low LRV of 15 does make it seem like it's part of that slate gray category of colors. While some people might say to stay away from blues when incorporating it with oak trim, I think this is a great choice as a darker accent color, because even though there's not any significant amount of warmth in here, it's because of that cool touch that allows the stained wood trim to really stand out. And I imagine if you're looking for colors to work with your wood trim, that you'd be proud of it and want to feature it more prominently. That's what a color like Slate Tile will do. Now, for our last three colors, these are going to be the more easily recommendable colors just because of their versatility. These are your neutrals, your light warm colors that I can almost guarantee they'll do the job as main colors on any project. My third highest recommendation for your main color would be Agreeable Gray, because with a name like that, how can you really go wrong? It happens to be one of Sherwin-Williams' best-selling colors because it brings a lot to the table. It has that bit of warmth to coordinate with your oak trim. It's right at that sweet spot that just keeps it at that mid-tone threshold, and that allows it to feel substantial as a color no matter how much lighting you throw at it. The only reason it's not number one or two is because it can sometimes have a tendency to shift in its undertones, especially when exposed to cooler lighting. Its gray aspects can be a little more prominent sometimes, which isn't always ideal with your oak trim. My second highest recommendation is light and bright, and it's called West Highland White. I didn't expect that all to rhyme. <laughs> Just kidding, I do it all the time. As we can see, this color is incredibly light with an LRV of 86, which isn't exactly the highest LRV I've seen by Sherwin-Williams, but it's light enough to be a suitable trim color if you didn't already have stained oak trim to begin with. Just like you could do with darker painted trim, you can have a color this light on your walls because of that already predetermined contrast in your woodwork. The wood is going to feel a bit darker than white, obviously, so having white walls will work really nicely. Oftentimes it's a nice look to have a bright warm white on your walls so that your wood trim will be outlining all of your doors, windows, and floors. It really adds some beautiful dimension to the space, and a color this bright will really open up whatever room it's used in. My only slight complaint here is the fact that in a lot of cases, this one can appear a bit too bright and too vibrant, so I have another color that really takes the cake for me here. The last color is still categorized as an off-white, although its 82 LRV is low enough to give it additional depth on the walls. It also has that likable warmth, but it's not so yellow dominant that it would feel overly green with cool lighting. It's been featured in many Sherwin-Williams color collections over the years for a good reason. My top neutral color recommendation to go with your honey oak trim is alabaster. We compared it to the Benjamin Moore powerhouse color white dove right over here, which you can check out for more information on each color. It's just a quick three and a half minute video and it was a lot of fun putting those two colors to the test.